Ladies, gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on our channel. I'm the FIFA Analyst. We've got our favorite video of the week, the full custom tactics and game plans, all the player instructions, absolutely everything that you need to go ahead and get more results on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, jumping straight into it. Remember, we start in the 4-5-1 formation. I don't use the 4-5-1 as my formation. We change everything via game plans. If you don't understand game plans, go ahead and take a look at my previous video. I'll put a link up here where I am and you can go and watch that. But hopefully you all understand it by now. So the 4-2-3-1 is our ultra defensive. I'll just quickly show you what we have in, in line here. It's a 4-2-3-1, the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, the 4-2-2 and the 4-2-4. So a few tweaks from when we last uploaded this, just before Christmas now actually. The 4-2-3-1 is my favourite formation on FIFA. It is the one which I enjoy the most. It offers me the, the most soundness. It's neutral. It can be used in attack, defence, it's balance. It's absolutely everything that I personally need from a formation. So this is the one which I kind of go with. If I'm up against someone that maybe is equally good as me or maybe better than me because it's the one which I feel most comfortable in. I'm not looking to win the game 5-0. I'm um, maybe looking at a 2-0, a 3-1, something like that. And it's where I have more of a possession style base of game. I'm a little bit more patient in my build-up, looking to move the ball and just work it a little bit slower. Balanced on the defensive style. Why do I not go for anything here? Well, simply put, this is the one I use from minute one. As I said, run up against someone that's better than me. Why would I want to be heavy in the press with the AI if I'm up against someone that's equally as good or better? So I go with balance here. 45 width and 65 depth. The depth, I think, is very much down to you as an individual on whether you want to run a high line or a low line. I right six switch and cover any over the top through balls fairly quick pretty decent at that that's something that i'm happy that i know i can do so i then do run a higher line to reduce the gap between my center backs and my center defensive mids giving the opponent less room to maneuver in around their strikers their center attacking mids whatever it may be the width i always go a little bit more narrower because well that's where a lot of the danger is played obviously i will give the opponent the wings i just won't let them get to the byline essentially the build-up play is balanced and possession I think I'm one of the only people that run possession this year. Possession on chance creation basically says that all your players will come short and they won't really show any runs unless you trigger the L1 button to send that player on a run. So that's why I go with possession. It's what works for me. As I said, if I'm looking to be a little bit more defensive, I do want the passes to feet rather than the passes in behind. If I want a pass in behind, that's where I'll trigger the run. And build up player, I go balanced. I never I never really tinker with this too much, to be honest with you. I think when you go slow build up, it, well, it's too slow. Uh, if you go fast build up, team shape goes all over the place. A long ball, not for me in the 4 2 3 1. 52 width because we want a fairly narrow, narrow medium width, I suppose. We don't want it too wide that the center attacking mids are basically wingers or right attacking mid, left attacking mid, I should say, sorry. But we don't want them so narrow that the normal center attacking mid has no room to maneuver in. So going for that 52 works really, really well for me. A balanced players in box at five and one corners, one free kicks. We go for the one corners for the corner technique. Sorry. And that's how I have it set up in this particular team. So for the striker, we have stay central, target man, and come back on defense. This is something that I've changed a little bit recently um, because I've been experimenting with other formations. The 4-2-3-1, I kind of do see it as a formation to see out the game for me as well, right? So I want it to be able to do that. So say if I'm 70th minute and I'm winning 3-1, if I'm not on the 4-2-3-1 already, that's when I'll change to it. So to stay central, target man, come back on defense. I only have target man because I've got this Edward card who obviously is six foot two. He's very good in the air. He can play that target man role, which is where they kind of get up against the center backs and look to bully the center backs. And he does a really good job of that. For the center attacking mid, right attacking mid and left attacking mid, all on comeback on defense, get into the box for cross. We want to sit deep here. We want to get our men back if we do not have the ball. We want to build up slow. So we're not bothered about trying to hit on the counter massively. So I don't need these on balance or stay forward. They can come and they can basically make a solid two lines of four with the center attacking mid doing a lot of the pressing in the middle of the pitch. And that works really well for me. For the two center defensive mids, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking, cover center. 
and for the left back and right back stay back while attacking nothing too different there and that is the 4-2-3-1 now the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow i've finally given in and started trying michael fisher's 4-1-2-1-2 narrow uh which is a pro player from ldn if you don't know who you are shout out to him um he basically kind of Bought light to this 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, which attacks like a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, but defends like a 4 4 2. And it's actually really difficult to break down, like the 4 4 2 can be, depends on how you have it set up. But it's so good in the attack as well. If you want to see a separate custom tactics video on this, kind of showing you how to use it and whatnot, let me know down below in the comment section and we can get that done for you. I'll go for a really high line here. This is what I'll use at the minute. A lot of my games if i feel like i'm um, better than the opponent this is what i run with basically the one where i want to get goals i want to have fun i want to attack i want to be you know winning four four two five two whatever i don't care i just want goals really balanced 45 width and 85 depth as i said we still go for that narrow width but we just run a really high line because again we're reducing the gap between the center backs and the center mids and just trying to make it very difficult for them to play in around those areas the opponent will look in behind. Just make sure that you're right six switching and you're tracking that through ball. Again, this is um personal preference. You know, if you don't feel you're confident with that, that's not a problem. Drop this down to 60, 50, whatever you're comfortable with. First time that I really run fast build up and forward runs together. Fast build up will get your team out of position. You will see your players just be cool as you're transitioning from midfield into attack. Be very careful of this because if you do lose a ball, the opponent has got a very easy route to goal. If you're not a massive fan of that, change it back to balance and just carry on with the rest of it. 40 width, because I really want um, quite a narrow uh, attack with my 4 4 2, um, because, uh, 4 1 2 1 2, sorry, because of the way that it sets up. Obviously, it is a narrow formation. We want our center attack in mid to get involved, the two strikers, and then the left CM and right CM as and when they can. Players in box, we do go for six and one corners and one free kicks as well so that's how i have it set up in this team on the player instructions we go get in behind stay forward on one striker and then balance and come back on defense the comeback on defense helps this 4-1-2-1-2 narrow set up as a 4-4-2 and be very defensive when you don't have the ball you can run get on behind here on this striker as well if you want i'm not a massive fan of both strikers i'm getting behind i've never have been that's my personal preference the center attack in mid, the first time in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, I have not ran stay forward on my center attack in mid. And this is the crucial part of it. If you want it to defend like a 4-4-2, you have to leave it on balance. This has been a glitch on FIFA for years where the center attack in mid just goes and moves into the left mid position essentially and isn't there when you don't have the ball. When you do have the ball, they do slot back into that center attack in mid spot, but it can be you know frustrating originally, which is why no one ran it and used it like that. The stay forward instruction stops that from happening. But again, Michael, who, who kind of came up along with a few people at LDN, I believe, they realised, well, actually, we can use this to our advantage defensively, but then attacking, you know, we can have the full 1 2 1 2 set up as we want. The left centre mid, stay back while attacking, um, and cover centre, it should be, sorry. And the right centre mid is on balance and cover centre. You can have this on get forward or stay back while attacking. It depends on what you want. There's a reason why I have mine on balance because it's Gelson Martins. I don't want him darting forward every time because our fullbacks get involved a lot, but I don't want him sitting back because it's Gelson Martins. You take a pick if you feel like you need a bit more defence or a bit more attack. Centre defensive mid, cut passing lanes, cover centre, stay back while attacking as self-explanatory. And then the right back and left back, we have completely unbalanced and overlap to give us a lot of width available through them. Make sure you use them. They are a big part to the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow as we always discuss. So go ahead and get them involved. Now the 4 triple 2 something that we spoke about recently, which I've started to get a lot more game time in with actually and been quite enjoying it. This is the formation I'll change to from 3-1 down in the 60th minute. As you can see, it's a little bit more aggressive with the press on possession loss, 65 depth and 50 width. We go balanced and direct passing. The big change here, though, is 25 width. My right attacking mid and left attacking mid basically play as two central attacking mids, which gives us a very narrow flat 4 triple 2 which works really well for me, actually. The only thing that I'd say is probably the downside to this is that you're not going to be taking on the fullbacks. You're going to be going through the middle, so it depends on the players that you've got. You may want people that are a little bit more center attacking mid-minded, like Coutinho's, Neymar's. Out on the wing, you know, if you've got like a Gelson Martins, like I have, for example, they're better at getting past the fullback rather than going through the middle, let's say.
uh, high players in box here. We go for seven and then one corners, one uh, well, one free kick. Sorry, lost my words there. Stay up while attacking on both the fullbacks. I did try balanced. I did have a bit of success with this, but I also found it left me a little bit too open on the counter, so I wasn't as big of a fan. But again, depends on what you want. You can change it should you wish to. The one centre defensive mid, the more defensive minded one we have on stay back while attacking, cover centre, cut passing lanes as per normal. And the left centre mid, the one that you want to get forward a little bit more, cut passing lanes, cover centre. Now the right attacking mid, left attacking mid, stay forward, both of them. We want to hit on the counter, we want to be quick, we want to be aggressive, we want to get in the opponent's face. Get into the box for cross here. I like this because they're essentially a centre attacking mid anyway. They're going to come forward and they're going to get inside the box if the ball's on the opposite side of the pitch and works really well. Stay forward. Both of them I'm getting behind. I know I said earlier on I don't really like it, but the only reason why I do this is because I'm looking to hit through balls. I'm looking to hit counter attacks. I'm looking to be aggressive, quick, and fast. If I was using this as more of a you know normal play style, let's say, I'd have one of these on balanced attacking runs rather than get in behind. So that is the 4 triple 2 The 4 2 4, I've changed from the threes at the back recently. This is the one I use if I'm losing 3 0 in the 70th minute or 4 0, whatever, and I just need to get goals. Yes, it's open at the back. Of course, it is. It's not as open as the three at the back that I previously ran, but still very effective for me. Constant pressure, 80 width, 80 depth. We want to be aggressive. The constant pressure drains your stamina, but it will go ahead and get you the ball back really, really effectively. AI press is absolutely mad on FIFA 22. Build up play, fast build up, direct passing. Similar, just be mindful of the fast build up. Obviously, it leaves your players out of position. And the direct passing just to get those threaded through balls, those direct passes into the striker's feet, get the players up the pitch and into the final third. 70 width and seven players in box again. Uh, I will keep that on one corners because, to be honest, there's no reason not to. And then for the instructions, <laughs> stay forward, get into the box for cross, get in behind, stay forward, get in behind, stay forward, get in behind, stay forward, get in behind, yeah, and then get into the box for cross as well, sorry. Um, this is, and get in behind, this is just aggressive. We're just hitting on the counter. The right wing and left wing sit on the fullbacks, and if you can bring substitutions on, please do. They will get past the fullback so easily, so aggressive, so quick, and it is really easy to go ahead and get in behind. For the two centre mids, we have them on completely balanced and cover centre. We want them to get forward now. We're losing the game. We need goals. Go ahead and get them forward and get them into the game. And then for the left back and the right back, I have them on balanced. I did try inverted here to try and see if we can get them into the in between the wingers. But to be honest, the problem that you've got is that you don't really want your fullbacks getting into those shooting positions. Unless you've got like a quadrado who can shoot, the majority of fullbacks that you run can't shoot, which is the reason why I don't do that there. So those are the game plans that I run at the minute on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. You guys let me know exactly what you would change. What do you like about this? What do you think you need to change or tweak? Pop that down below in the comment section. As always, thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.